Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week I'll be looking at the two methods of dictation built right into Mac OS Big Sur. That's keyboard dictation and voice control. The first method, called keyboard dictation, is a fairly simple implementation to allow you to capture short sentences or phrases, usually for a maximum of 40 seconds or less. Now, keyboard dictation has been in macOS for quite a while, but voice control has a much richer set of dictation commands to allow you to navigate and format your text. So let's start by taking a look at keyboard dictation first. Now, we'll start off by accessing system preferences and dictation or keyboard dictation is under keyboard. Now you could search for keyboard and take you straight to this preference panel. But if we go to dictation, as you can see, uh, there's a couple of things to point out here. First off, my current microphone, my system microphone, this is bouncing up and down, indicating that this is the live microphone. If I have other microphones, I can select them from here, but I'm going to leave it as a universal audio thunderbolt. Now I can switch dictation on. The first time you do that, you will be presented with this pop-up. So basically what it's saying is that when you start to dictate text, uh, what you say is sent to Apple to be converted to text and then sent back again. So there are some privacy issues that you might want to have a look at. And there's lots of information under the About Dictation and Privacy uh, panel here. But I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to say Enable Dictation. OK, and now dictation is switched on. Uh, you can have multiple languages and you can select more than a single language. Obviously, my primary language is English United Kingdom. But if I wanted to add a second language, which in fact I will do just to demonstrate later on, let's go and add France or French in. We'll say OK. Uh, if you do that, you might find that it will download around a 600 megabyte file, but I've already installed it on this particular machine. Uh, so I've selected my primary language as English United Kingdom, and now I need to specify the shortcut key I want to invoke my dictation. So I'm going to leave it as the standard of pressing the control key twice, but you've got these other options and you can customize the key as well. And if you want to have more information about dictation and privacy, you can get to it from here as well. But anyway, that is now ready to go. Let me pop this out of the way. Keyboard dictation will work in pretty much any application that will accept text. But for this demo, I'm going to use an application called IA Writer. And the only reason for using this particular app is that it has this nice blue insertion point. So it's just easier to see where the text is being placed on the screen. Uh, more useful actually in the voice control section, but we'll have a look at that shortly. So to start off dictation, all I need to do is to double tap the control button twice, and we should see a small pop-up appear at the side of the screen. Hi, comma. This is Don McAllister, and welcome to Screencasts Online. Full stop. New paragraph. This is an example of dictation. Full stop. And then I've just hit return just to close that session down. I could have clicked on the close button on the pop-up panel. You'll notice that the new paragraph didn't take effect until after I'd finished speaking. It will format the text at that point. Now, I can't at this point go back and edit anything, although it's worked perfectly. Uh, it would be nice to actually go back, say, a few characters or replace a phrase or replace a word, perhaps capitalise something. Uh, you can't do that with keyboard dictation. It is purely meant for just straightforward, small phrases, small sentences, allowing you to enter text fairly easily. Now, before we look at voice control, let's just have a look at the foreign language support. Now, I can't speak a foreign language, but I've got a section of French to read out to you, so we'll see how that works. So what I need to do now is to bring up the on-screen control. Uh, I will actually mute my microphone while I just tell you what's going on. So if I bring up the control again, and then click on English, I can then select French. So if I double tap the control key twice. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive, 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.